hello guy welcome to cloud to z and uh, this video is a short video and it's not very related to cloud exactly but it would be uh, the video related to increase your productivity so if you have your ipads uh, with you or any of the tabs with you but this specific solution would work with ipad so recently ipad has launched ipad pro 12.9 2020 edition uh, and uh, and if you if you have existing macbook pro then uh, and install with Catalina uh, then you must have you know it, it should be quite easy to just click on this airplay icon which is displaying here and then uh, and then just do it and like connect uh, connect with your particular uh, iPad as and make it as a secondary display okay since if it's it isn't possible in certain cases where your particular laptop may be into the corporate network or has some corporate policies firewalls and other thing other blockages so in order to fix that particular issue which actually doesn't play with uh, many of the internal files which are audited by a company but but uh, it's it's a very general macbook uh, uh, pro uh, preferences which you are going to change uh, so so what happens is uh, like uh, when I bought this uh, bought the tab and then I was trying to connect with I MacBook Pro it was not happening I was not able to connect and I was on a series of uh, headache like I've invested this much but uh, there's no purpose of because what I do is uh, actually I uh, work on something like I design solutions for customers and then I display them uh, like I can uh, let me show like this I just uh, write notes for the customers and then and then I like uh, explain them what exactly is a particular problem and uh, I do explain this particular concepts and easily share so it's easy for me to you know uh, jot down that particular my understanding on a very native or traditional way of uh, reading a book and then jointing a, pow uh, a points with uh, the help of a simple Apple pencil like this uh, and it's it's very good it's very productive and 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 when I'm not using iPad for that particular writings I can use as extra extra display because I have a small home where I just want to you know uh, constrict everything and then use as much as uh, possible uh, portable and slidable things uh, so that that was a, that was a thing for which I've invested on something like this but again this sidecar had a lot of issues and bugs which was not fixed by Apple so uh, the three prerequisites are you need to you know you need to turn on your wi-fi and you need to log in with the same icloud account on ipad and on macbook pro and uh, make sure the bluetooth is also on uh, on your ipad and macbook pro so and uh, uh, the basically it should have the ipad must have more than 13 uh, 12 uh, ios 12 plus and then os versions and then and uh, and your macbook pro should have at least Catalina or it, it works with the big as well uh, so that those are the prerequisites for setting up this but there are but if you uh, these are the particular if you have uh, older iPads where also you want to run this then you can run this particular command uh, which says about you know uh, sidecar display where you are allowing to uh, you just passing the true value for allowing all the devices uh, you can just run this and it it would you know fix that particular I issues with the devices where you are actually not able to use a sidecar or enable the sidecar at least with the compatible oasis so so this fixes for them as well and what i will do is like i will go with this and then i can i can open my mac, to mac terminal and go to the terminal and and you need to run this particular commands in terminal okay just a minute let me new command i can directly run or just open a new terminal and then uh, so i can open the new terminal so my terminal went. 
so you need to copy this term in this particular and then it would trigger uh, and it would trigger this particular settings into the uh, sidecar preferences dot p list and then it would uh, pop up your sidecar pane the sidecar pane is nothing but if you go and try to search sidecar so it gives sidecar customizations and other things like where how exactly you want to display on your ipad pro so yeah this is your so it's already connected i fixed it and you can show touch bar as well where your device will just restart and then it will show the touch bar settings and okay and then so your sidecar settings uh, you can change this so the same thing the command will trigger override few of the values so this is normal a uh, soft approach i would say to uh, do it instead of uh, hitting uh, directly with uh, a brute force or an ultimate fix which i am going to give uh, uh, so so the default one you can try uh, this one just applies the values doesn't open the sidecar uh, which I've opened like uh, I've just searched and opened the sidecar right it won't open but this word automatically open after the command has uh, applied the changes but there is an ultimate fix which actually worked for me and then it fixed my issue is this one uh, so so where you need to go to uh, systems configurations file and you basically you can go like this itself and system configurations you can try searching for system configurations uh, so once you are into the systems configuration dot touch is not required So you just type system configuration and then it would open uh, the system configuration folder. So this system configuration folder which has these particular files, uh, plist and uh, preferences.plist, preference.plist.old and network interfaces.plist. So these are these files keeps uh, keep them themselves updated after every restart. So what you need to do is like you need to uh, for safety in, in case you have certain issues you just take backup of these particular three files uh, copy it and then save it in somewhere uh, somewhere in your local doc uh, or uh, and and then go ahead and delete them okay so once you delete and then uh, make your restart uh, macbook pro restart again and then once you come here and then you can just click on your devices whatever the device name you have given you can just give and then it will and then it will just go ahead and uh, connect you to the uh, to your it will connect you to the uh, ipad pro and uh, and it will display as a uh, and there are a few of the options like you can actually mirror your uh, mirror the same desktop what you have if you have already a single macbook pro you can make it as an extended display or a separate display in here and then you can uh, and then you can add something called a sidebar touch bar so that if you want to control with your own keyboard which is there uh, if you want to type something on the same screen which you are uh, extending uh, using your keyboard of your iPad Pro iPad then you can directly use by these particular options uh, and then uh, that that itself you can key in those values and then you can actually uh, copy or uh, uh, try to show to a customer or something you can actually mirror any of the displays content of which you are making the presentation or something like that you can just duplicate it and show in the other reverse side to the customer where you are sitting from the one end and he can't he may be able not, uh, not able to see that so you can do that so this is a quick fix where and i will be updating this particular commands and uh, configuration folder where you you need to go and uh, what particular files you uh, as i suggested will delete and it would perfectly fine thanks a lot 
I just wanted to share because I didn't want to you to also waste some time which I did. Thank you. Have a great day and bye bye. Cheese.